Welcome! In this video, you'll learn all about B2B Marketing Analytics Account Engagement's Advanced Reporting Tool. In this video, we'll cover what B2B Marketing Analytics is, how to create a B2B Marketing Analytics app, and how to navigate the out-of-the-box B2B Marketing Analytics dashboards. B2B Marketing Analytics, or just B2BMA for short, is a CRM analytics app purpose-built for marketers who operate out of account engagement and Salesforce. With account engagement, marketers have access to a number of reporting tools. B2BMA is account engagement's advanced flexible analytics tool that combines both marketing and sales data. Using B2BMA's out-of-the-box dashboards or your own custom dashboards, you can quickly view and report on metrics, share insights with colleagues, and take data-driven actions to maximize marketing and sales efforts. Account Engagement also offers an upgraded version of B2BMA called B2BMA Plus, which we won't be covering today. It includes everything you get with B2BMA, as well as predictive analytics and greater support for enterprise-sized accounts. Unlike some of the other reporting tools, users do need a license to interact with B2BMA, but if they don't have one, users who do can always share a static image of the B2BMA report or dashboard. It's also important to note that there can be differences between similar Salesforce or account engagement reports and B2BMA. This isn't unusual and is caused by differences in update rates, how deleted prospects are handled, and so on. To learn more, check out the Data Discrepancies resource which can be found in the B2BMA Implementation Guide. If you're brand new to CRM Analytics and B2BMA, your admin will need to walk through the B2B Marketing Analytics Getting Started Steps in Salesforce Setup first. Once that's done, you'll be able to create your own B2BMA app. The really cool news? You can create as many B2BMA apps as you like. For example, if you have multiple business units, you'll need a B2BMA app for each. Now let's get into the steps to create a B2BMA app. First, let's open Analytics Studio using the App Launcher. Next, click Create and then select App. Search for and select the B2B Marketing Analytics app template. Click Continue, which shows us an overview of the app. And click Continue again. If we have previously created an app using this template, we can use the settings from that app as a starting point, or we can create a new app from scratch. Let's click Create a Brand New App, then click Continue. Next, we paste in your Account Engagement Business Unit ID. You can find this on your Account Engagement Settings page in Account Engagement, then click Looks Good Next. Next, select your optional features. In addition to the out-of-the-box reporting assets that come with B2BMA, there are a number of optional dashboards and a data set that must be opted into. These are optional features because they either require certain setup be in place first or are only useful to certain marketers. For example, if you want to report on both prospect field data and engagement data at the same time, then the prospect and activity data set is worth opting into. Let's opt in to the account-based marketing dashboard as well, then click Looks Good Next. Next, we confirm our fiscal year start and locale settings, then click Looks Good Next. Finally, we give our new app a name and click Create. The setup process will run in the background and you'll receive an email when it's complete. It's worth mentioning that you can edit or upgrade an existing app too, but we won't be demoing that today. When reporting with B2BMA, there are three main components you'll be working with. Data sets, a set of source data specially formatted and optimized for interactive exploration. Lenses, a customized filtered view of a data set's data. Dashboards, a curated set of charts, metrics, and tables based on the filtered data from one or more lenses. B2, BMA, comes with a number of pre-built reporting assets including multiple dashboards that have been purpose-built for common marketing use cases. There are three dashboards that are created with every B2BMA app, the Engagement Dashboard, the Pipeline Dashboard, and the Marketing Manager Dashboard. And there are three dashboards that must be opted into, the Account-Based Marketing Dashboard, 
the Multi-Touch Attribution Dashboard, and the Einstein Behavior Scoring Dashboard. Let's take a look at these pre-built dashboards now. First, let's look at the Engagement Dashboard. This dashboard is ideal for marketing managers and content creators who want to understand the performance of specific marketing assets or campaigns, so they can replicate what is resonating best with their prospects. It focuses on the engagement data for the main three marketing assets in account engagement, emails, forms, and landing pages. The first section of the dashboard shows our list email engagement. This section provides an overview of all our most important email engagement metrics, including email sent, email opens, link clicks, opt-outs, and bounces. We have our high-level metrics on top and can compare and drill into the performance of individual list email below. Underneath this, we have our email template engagement section. This has a similar setup and metrics to our list email section, but allows us to report on our automated email performance. Next, we have our forms engagement section. This section will give us insights into how our account engagement forms and form handlers are performing. It includes metrics like submissions, conversions, and views. And finally, we have our landing page engagement section. This is where we can assess the performance of account engagement hosted landing pages using metrics like views and submissions. Right now, the dashboard is showing all engagement data for the last two years. If we want to narrow this down, we can use these global filters to quickly update the entire dashboard to show a different date range or only show assets with a selected campaign or tag. In the top right, we have our action buttons. From here, we can do things like share the dashboard, mark it as a favorite, run our dashboard inspector, and create a clone of this dashboard. Pro tip, never edit these out-of-the-box dashboards. If you want to customize it, create a clone of the dashboard and edit that instead. And lastly, if there is a specific chart or metric you want to dig deeper into or share without sharing the full dashboard, hover over the chart or metric widget, click on the drop-down arrow, and a number of actions will appear that apply to just that widget. For example, if you want to understand where a metric is coming from, click on Show Details to see the source dataset, the measures, dimensions, and filters that were used to create that lens. Up next, we have the Pipeline Dashboard. This dashboard is ideal for marketing and sales leaders who want a quick way to analyze their prospect lifecycle, sales pipeline, and most effective lead generating campaigns and sources. And the available filters on this dashboard are date range and tag. At the top, we have the lifecycle snapshot. This breaks down the different lifecycle stages, from an anonymous visitor to a known prospect, all the way to a closed one opportunity that is linked to a prospect record. We can also see the average amount of time it takes to move between the stages underneath the different boxes. Underneath this, we have the pipeline breakdown. This shows all the key information for your account engagement related opportunities, including current status, value, and one revenue. And the final section on this dashboard shows the value of account engagement opportunities by source campaign the number of prospects generated by each lead source, and the opportunity pipeline by company. On to our last default dashboard, the Marketing Manager Dashboard. This dashboard combines the key metrics from the Engagement Dashboard and Pipeline Dashboard into one view. It provides busy marketing and sales leaders with a quick way to review and present on the health of their business and campaign performance. In the Marketing Pipeline Health section, we can see our opportunity pipeline and one revenue by account engagement source campaign. In the engagement health section, we can see the top performing forms and landing pages by submission rate and high level engagement metrics for our list emails. Now onto our optional dashboards. First, we have the account based marketing dashboard. This dashboard is optional because it is only valuable to companies that run account based marketing strategies. This dashboard helps marketing and sales managers understand pipeline and marketing engagement by account. This dashboard will help them identify top accounts and ensure they are being engaged with effectively by both teams. Next, we have the Multi-Touch Attribution Dashboard. 
This dashboard is optional because it requires marketers to be using campaign influence in Salesforce first. This dashboard allows marketing and sales managers to view campaign performance from the perspective of different campaign attribution models. The account engagement campaign attribution models include first touch, last touch, and even distribution. Salesforce models, like the primary campaign source model, and custom built models can also appear on this dashboard. And lastly, the Einstein Behavior Scoring Dashboard. This dashboard is optional because it requires an account engagement edition that includes Einstein and that the feature is enabled. This dashboard provides marketing managers with insights into the marketing assets and activities that are having the biggest influence on a prospect's Einstein Behavior Score. It also includes a table of the prospects who perform these activities, which can be filtered by industry, campaign, company, and score range for deeper insights. And there we have it. B2B Marketing Analytics's three default and three optional dashboards and how to navigate them. That concludes our tutorial on how to get started with and navigate B2B Marketing Analytics. To recap, we looked at what B2B Marketing Analytics is, how to create a B2B Marketing Analytics app, and how to navigate the out-of-the-box B2B Marketing Analytics dashboards. For more information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching.